it started just raining. It hailed at one point, and then lightning was everywhere. 14-year-old Peyton Bailey filming on her phone as she and others in her youth group as part of the Salina Stake Trek experience were hiking Thursday afternoon just before 2 o'clock south of Fremont Junction in the eastern part of Sevier County. There's lightning and that's when like it so coincidentally just happened to just crash right in front of us and it just blasted and it was so bright and the sound was so loud there was ringing in my ears and it felt like a bunch of weight had hit my head and pushed me backwards. Bailey says she fell to the ground. I was able to get back up really quickly and I was just so confused. And all 50 kids reported <laughs> feeling the shock. It was a really chaotic moment and everyone who I've talked to had said that they had felt one way or another, whether it was a big jolt or a small jolt. Sevier County Sheriff Nathan Curtis telling Fox 13 News that seven children were transported to the hospital, including two that were flown via medical helicopter to Primary Children's Hospital in Lehigh after experiencing serious symptoms from the shock of the lightning strike. He didn't have any updates on Friday regarding the conditions of those that were taken to the hospital. We all went and got checked out by the doctors, though, to be safe. With the weather that rolled through the area on Thursday, Fox 13 News asked Bailey if she felt safety was a priority during the hike. They actually talked to us all. They're like, the storm's coming in. It might be rainy. Do you parents still want to send your kids? And we all chose to go, like this was no one's fault. We had medical vehicles riding alongside us as we were walking. And I think that's how we got kids out so quickly, is because we had those medical vehicles ready. Bailey says she's thankful that no one was severely injured or killed. So I just hope that everyone realizes the blessings and the miracles that just happened. And I, I believe we can all move forward with this. In Farmington, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.